think about tonight's game? The, the first thing that I would like to say is that uh, um, it seemed like the fans gave me a very warm welcome, and and uh, and that was uh, that was very nice of them. Um, uh, I felt very much connected uh, to the team, the city, and the fans. Uh, so it was uh, it was great to come back uh, to Vilnius and play a game here. Uh, we knew that. There would be only one way to win this game, and and that would be uh, to be very good defensively, because uh, they have a they have a great coach, obviously, who uh, um, does an outstanding job with his team. They have a very good offensive team. They play together really, really well. They have everything that you need to be successful at the highest level, and. And the only way to beat them uh, in Vilnius is to play great defense, and and I, I thought we did that. So that was I thought that was the key for us, and and uh, except for the turnovers that we had against the press, I was very happy with how we played. We moved the ball pretty well. We we played together, uh, played team basketball, and and so uh, it's it's it's. Uh, it's a good win for us because now we've secured a spot in the second stage. Uh, a big success for Volgograd, uh, second season in BTB, first season in Euro Cup. So it's a it's a big success for us. Was Klaus in the trainer? Coach, you have a lot of players that are capable of playing one on one very well. Uh, what is the key of making a team of these players? Well, the key is that you that you have to, you have to have a strong hand, and you have to make them understand that uh, basketball is not tennis, it's not golf, it's it's not an individual sport, it's a team game. And and even though we have players that that are really good one on one, um, they can still make their lives a lot easier by passing the ball and playing together, because then you have rhythm and. And the biggest thing is that when you move the ball and everybody is involved, then you have better effort on defense. And so I think I've been able to convince them uh, to not, not play one-on-one -on -one because this was the kind of team that, that, that uh, we all saw before I, uh, before I went there, uh, only one-on-one. -on -one. And you can't win like that. You, you have to play team basketball and, and you have to move the ball. And, and then, when you add to that the ability that Randy Culpepper has to make very difficult shots, then you have something. But if they want to do that all the time, play one-on-one -on -one basketball, you can't win that way. And uh, you have a poor atmosphere, and nobody tries on defense. So it's very important to have, to have balance. At that close. Coach, it was pretty loud uh, after the game in your dress room, and you also looked uh, very emotional. Uh, how important was for you uh, to win here in Vilnius, where you haven't, where you, you wasn't able to coach a full season? It wasn't important at all. It, what was important for me was that we win this game to get to the next stage. Now, whether that was here or uh, in in Belgrade or somewhere else at home against Bunvit, it doesn't matter to me. I have nothing but the highest respect for this program and the people that are in charge. And you know, they felt they had to make the decision at the time and you know, that's that's how our business is. So it, it, for me it wasn't important to win here against Lieto Vosiritas. It was important to win this one game so that we get to the next stage.